the first ever London Modest Fashion Week takes place this weekend. And judging by this well-produced trailer, it could be the beginning of many. It's been held at the Saatchi Gallery and will feature 50 designers from seven countries, including the UAE, Turkey, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. Pop-up shops and special panel discussions will run alongside the main shows. Joining me now from London is one of the founders of this event, Romana Bint Abu Bakr. Romana, thanks for joining us on Showcase. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having us. Um, this isn't the first event of its kind internationally. We've seen uh, there was a modest fashion designer at New York Fashion Week this week, and last year we had a similar event in Istanbul, but it's the first of its kind in London. Well, actually, we as Otelan, which is our global destination for modest fashion, it's an online e-commerce platform, have been hosting fashion events for the modest fashion world for some four years. This is our fourth year. Previously, they were called Modest Fashion Awards. So this year, we decided that the modest fashion market is really ready for an international level event, and we've decided to name it London Modest Fashion Week as a result of that. Um, as you've said, you know we've got over 50 designers from around the world, over 30 on the runway, um, a big shopping area, um, international media from around the world attending. And it's the year when every global brand from you know Dolce & Gabbana to net -Port a everybody is announcing um, their establishment in modest fashion even recently Debenhams announced they're bringing a modest fashion collection to their store so it's a really big opportunity I think now for the world to realize and um, appreciate the size of this Muslim and wider modest fashion market so at Autoland um, our goal was to bring that to the population of London which is really the fashion tech hub of the world um, but just building on what you said there I mean it's a time when everyone's talking about politics you know because of the US presidency how important do you think even more is it for Muslim women to be represented now absolutely and I mean you know it's really not just Muslim women I think it's women from all faith backgrounds because we have a lot of Christian women Mormon women women of the Jewish faith um, the whole goal for us of London modest fashion we can actually Autolan, which is our, our as I said our e-commerce platform is that we bridge faiths and nationalities through the tool of fashion fashion is just a facilitator we believe that um, this is really a grassroots evolution modest fashion similar to how the social revolutions happened in Tunisia and then the Arab Revolution which all started on social media similarly these bloggers these influencers who've been blogging about their style for some time on social media have really pushed that evolution and that's really taken the world to notice modest fashion and that's really changing the landscape that we live in so it's that political level change that's now come through in the mainstream and I mean fashion weeks around the world are you know have their own kind of style their own flair how will London be different well, I think what's so special about London is that we are that fashion hub of the world. So we're showcasing some great brands from international level through to emerging brands. It's the diversity as well as the global mix. I don't think any catwalk has seen such a great global mix. We've got designers all the way, as you mentioned, from Qatar, Malaysia, Saudi Arabia. So it's a really excellent global mix with over 3,000 people also expected to come. That's the biggest turnout that anyone would have ever seen at a modest fashion week anywhere in the world. Romana Bent Abu Bakr, thank you so much for joining us on Showcase. Best of luck.